Welcome to our kitchen. Today we prepare pork roast with honey and lentils with sumac. Two Byzantine recipes from the Observazione Ciborum. A letter about the dietetics written in the 6th century by the physician Antimus to the king of the Franks. We start with ingredients. We need pork tenderloin, lentils, honey, vinegar and sumac. We simmer the lentils and spit roast the pork tenderloin. We cook both lentils and tenderloin for about half an hour. Some varieties of lentils need a longer cooking and must be steeped in water overnight before cooking them. Following the suggestion by the author, we cooked the lentils at low heat on charcoal. We prepared in the past another recipe from this source, a plate with chicken and eggs called a frutum. You find the link to the video in the description below. Antimus recipes are very simple, being the author mainly interested in providing healthy dietetic advice. The only condiments for the lentils are vinegar and sumac called Rus Syriacum in the ancient sources. After about 10 minutes, we remove the water from the lentils, add new water and continue cooking them. We brush the tenderloin with oxymeli, a mixture of two parts honey and one part vinegar. To prepare the meat, actually we mixed two recipes by Antimus for pork and suckling pig. Pork, writes the author, may be roasted or simmered. Suckling pig instead needs to be simmered, stewed or roasted in the oven. It is essential to use fresh meat being it lighter and better for digestion and avoid dressing it with garum. To roast the tenderloin, Antimus recommends brushing it with salt diluted in water, whereas suckling pig cooked in the oven needs to be basted with two parts honey and one part vinegar, then eaten with the same sauce, the one we prepared to dress our tenderloin. In other parts of this booklet, the author suggests roasting the meat keeping it distant from the fire to prevent it from burning outside and remaining raw inside. Antimus recipe is similar to a method that we read in the Recoquinaria called Assatura Simplex, which means simple roast, in which the roasted meat is served with salt and honey. Antimus recommends cooking the lentils two times in water already hot, discarding the first water and adding a moderate quantity the second time. This is the same method suggested by Galen a few centuries before and will be the typical way to cook most legumes even in the late Middle Ages. Galen, for instance, recommends cooking the asked lentils the second time with the addition of salt or garum and some astringent spice or vinegar. A recipe quite similar to the one we are making today. In Antimus version there is no garum or salt, but the principles are the same, since sumac is quite astringent. In the 7th century, Paulus Egineta recommends adding vinegar and spices during the second cooking to remove the potential arms of lentils, which include difficult to digest, damages to the chest, brain and eyes, and even leprosy. Meanwhile, we grind the sumac. Sumac was a spice used in ancient Greece, as we read in Athenaeus de Hypnosophistes, and ancient Rome. Pliny writes that it was used as a medicament as well as to season meat, as a substitute for salt, with the addition of silphium. In the Recuquinaria, it appears two times, 
to make a sauce for real e more ill. Sumac will be quite popular in the late Middle Ages to prepare sumacchia, a stew prepared with sumac and chicken or fish that comes from Arabic cuisine. To know more about sumac in the ancient and medieval sources, check out our Patreon page, in which you find once a week an article about historical food and once a month our translation of a source. This month it is available the first part of the Recoquinaria with the translations of two books. When the lentils are done, we add vinegar and sumac. We suggest using just a bit of vinegar and sumac because they are both acidic then tasting the lentils and adding more if it is not enough. To know more about food in antiquity, check out our new book, Ancient Roman Cooking, available on Amazon in English and Italian, in ebook and printed editions. To support our work, you can also buy us a beer or purchase our merchandise. We let the tenderloin rest a few minutes, then we cut it and serve it with a little oxymeli. The dish turned out better than we expected, since it was very simple. In the end, honey, vinegar and sumac made a good balance with the meat and lentils, despite the absence of salt. However, if you want or are uninterested in Antimus dietetic advice, you can add a bit of garum or salt to both the tenderloin and lentils, which is always a good idea to give sapidity and flavor to whichever dish. Vinegar and Doni pair perfectly with the flavor of the meat, slightly smoked by the cooking on charcoal, and pleasantly caramelized on the external part of the tenderloin. A very good dish that we suggest trying. Maybe paired with a salad dressed with vinegar, olive oil and garum, as common in ancient Greece and Byzantine Empire. If you're interested in ancient foods and flavors, subscribe our channel and consider supporting us on Patreon.